Hello all and welcome. In today's session, we'll be discussing about a simple marketing concept called integrated marketing communications. Now, this is a very simple concept. It ensures that all forms of communication and messages are carefully linked together. Okay. So, let's first of all understand uh, some companies that really worked, that really have tried their best or they really tried their luck with integrated marketing communications and they reaped well. The first one that comes to our mind is about Vodafone Zuzus. Now Zuzu is one of our very, very favorite example for most of the marketing communication practices. Now how did Vodafone Zuzu introduce integrated marketing communications? Now Vodafone Zuzus uh, tried to bombard the market from all sort of angles. Now, uh, they, they had uh, a product called uh, Zuzu's, I mean, they had the product called Value Added Services and this was introduced with the help of a, uh, a new uh, subject called Zuzu's. They uh, attacked the market uh, from TV ads. They had a sequel of TV ads, close to 2025 of them, and that was a chain. So, uh, they came through TV advertisements. Then you could have seen T uh, Zuzu's in, uh, in, uh, in the Google, when, whenever you search in Google, the Zuzu's appeared as a poster or a stroller. Then you could, you could see the ads of Zuzu's in Facebook. Then whenever you open Instagram, you could have seen the ads there. Then most of the people started putting WhatsApp status and DPs with Zuzu's at that point in time. Then Zuzu started being introduced as a Play Store game. There was there were a lot of uh, what do you say different methods like hoardings. There were whenever you enter into a mall, you could see a person um, make, put a makeup like a Zuzu and giving you a shake hand. You are attacking the Zuzus were attacking the market from very different different uh, many innovative methods. Now, that is what is known as integrated marketing communications. Now, there is a small concept called Blitzkrieg marketing or Blitzkrieg. Now, what do you mean by Blitzkrieg? Blitzkrieg is actually uh, was a strategy that was used in um, war attack or war strategy. Now, how this was introduced was something like uh, if, you ha if you are supposed to attack uh, one particular country, they will target that particular country from uh, uh, and attack it from all sort of methods like they have armory, they will have navy, they have the air force, and the submarines, everything together they blast that particular country and they thrash them down. In similar manner, integrated marketing communications is like bombarding one particular cons customer or a group of customers from all different angles. Now so in short, what is IMC? IMC is a strategic marketing process specifically designed to ensure that all messaging and communication strategies are unified across all channels and are centered around the cons consumer. Now this is a comprehensive approach. Uh, you might have heard about a promotional mix. Now integrated marketing communication is in line with the promotional mix which uh, can be spelt as advertising, public relations, personal selling, direct marketing and sales promotion. Of late, with the advent of uh, new medias like social media marketing, there are a fleet of new social media tools that really supports the integrated marketing efforts. So, IMC in short can be defined as a process for planning, executing and monitoring the brand messages that create customer relationships. So what is the major objective of integrated marketing communications? Integrated marketing communications plays an important role in the marketing of goods and services. Its major objective it is used to influence consumer behavior in favor of the product. Some of the major objective of IMC is the first one is to promote or to build awareness. Whenever a new product is being introduced into the market, the first step in the IDA concept, we have heard about IDA, attention, interest, desire and action is to create attention or to generate interest or to throw in awareness. The second one is once the uh, product or brand became aware that it has to become loyal like consumer, consumers have to repurchase that particular product. So brand loyalty is another objective of integrated marketing communications. 
over the time when the brand is getting loyal or people started purchasing that brand again and again for example you buy the uh, soap dow again and again then the brand has to create an image now the uh, once the image of the particular brand is being inculcated very clearly then they have to go for expanding the market so another objective of imc is to expand the market or market expansion imc also helps to persuade the people or it helps in persuasion for example tata is coming out with a very new innovative product now tata has a fleet of product in in its product line now integrated marketing communications will really foster in helping or persuading the pro, uh, persuading the consumers to buy this particular new uh, brand that has been introduced by tata it also helps in educating consumers it, uh, it it might through through its different methods in which it can attack it can really educate the consumers maybe about the how to use a product or what is the usage of the product or very anything anything any sort so to be very clear and precise the elements of integrated marketing communications are advertising public relations personal selling direct marketing and sales promotions along with it we can add the social media tools or the new uh, sophisticated tools that is coming come that has come up with online products now let us look into the story of tony tony is a young businessman now tony is into travel and tourism business so initially in the early ages of his business he started giving advertisements he gave advertisements in newspapers after some point of time he gave advertisements uh, in uh, televisions but it cost him a lot of money then still it was not giving him much of an impact so he gave uh, advertisements in social media but in over course of time he started doing lot of different things but nothing really pulled out well later he started implementing integrated marketing communications now how did this imc help him now when he was doing integrated marketing communications he made a plan he made consistent plan and he made a continuity between all the advertisements that he was making and all the promotional methods that he was using and he made a complementary so that uh, whatever uh, ads that he was posting in facebook the same was being complemented by instagram the same was being complemented by the tv television ads in movie theaters when he small small scrolling everything had a complementarity so uh, when this kind of uh, an a campaign was being uh, developed by tony and for his new ad for his new tour to a tourism agency this really clicked well so in short we can say the characteristics of integrated marketing communications are basically fourfold the first one it is coherent now coherent means different communications are logically connected now the communication that you put in facebook is connected or is in line with the message that you that you send in a television ad the same message is being complemented in a print ad the same message is being uh, somehow in a different manner replicated in a magazine ad so jingle that you uh, that you say in a radio everything is connected so there is consistency you are not trying to give different different ideas you are trying to punch upon one single idea now a uh, very beautifully done by peers peers always in different modes of communication try to project clear and transparent that is what um, and the connection between mother and uh, a child so it is very consistent in almost all the communications that peers comes out with and there is a continuity now um, whenever the advertisements are given in through in integrated marketing communications there was a continuity so finally we can say that imc is a full package it has an objective of giving you whatever is that you require for your business and helps you to achieve that with very stipulated timelines attacking a customer from all the different faces utilizing the different promotional mixes so in this particular video we were trying to understand how in once we implement imc or integrated marketing communication into our business it will help 
for the betterment and the foster the growth of our business. Thanks for watching.